that we have the head coach of BYU women's volleyball. Also bringing the drip. Who has absolutely got the shoe game on point. Heather Ohm said, The well, jacket, the yeah. jeans, the shoe. Let's go. Thanks for having me. It's this game is, day, right? Yeah, game NCAA day. tournament. Let's go. Look. Yeah. yeah. yeah fired up. Yeah. Fired up. All right. You've been in this situation a lot, Heather. Like, you're a veteran of the tournament. You've coached in and participated in many ways a lot of NCAA tournament matches. So, what makes this one unique? Given that BYU is coming out of the Big 12 for the first time as a four seed. Yeah, I don't know. I think if it's because we didn't host last year, if we have a lot of freshmen, the excitement on Selection Sunday, <laughs> the anticipation of waiting is maybe because we were the last name on the bracket. <laughs> it was off the charts exciting, nervous, nerve-wracking. Are we going to host? Are we not going to host? So I think a combination of things make the opportunity for us to be at home this weekend just really exciting for our group. The body of work that they've done throughout this whole season, the focus that they've had, I think it's just all around exciting to bring such great volleyball to Provo for our community. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, the first game is going to be so fun. Georgia, Arizona yeah. State is big time. And then you play Weaver State. You haven't played them since 21. Yep. It's a different team that you played. But they were down 5-0, 8-3, 12-8 in the fifth set, and they won the Big Sky. And they come in with some confidence, and they're hoping to win for the first time ever against BYU. Team. Absolutely. I mean, what a, what a great showing by Weaver State in the Big Sky Conference tournament to, to win three matches mm. with their backs against the wall. Any team that's coming in like that and you have to play a team that's, that's grinded and had some adversity, they're dangerous. And you can see that just across the board yesterday. Half the brackets seemed like it started last night. Our team was watching the matches. There Everyone's, were four seated teams that lost. Those it, it's it's yeah. happening. It's the tournament, and it, it's – you can't take anything for granted. Being at home on the road, everybody's ready to play in the tournament. It's the magic of the NCAA tournament. So we've got a great opponent in Weber State. Jeremiah Larson does a great job. Their team is ready. And again, they, they won three matches to get here. So, you know, they're going to be ready. We're getting our team, you know, ready to just play a great opponent. And it's an in-state rival, so there's some emotions and there's some excitement. And, and then you have to focus on, on one match at a time with another match going on before you. But, you know, we've asked our team to trust that, that we'll figure out um, what happens should we be lucky enough to advance tonight? And Whitney Bauer looks over the net and she sees one of her best friends. Former from teammate. Home club, uh, Danny Richens, so that'll be fun as well. So you mentioned your team watching other squads already compete. Yeah. Is that in some way advantageous for your team to, to watch matches before they actually go into their tournament game? Yeah, no, we've actually asked our team to trust our staff. Dave Height, Johnny Neal do a great job. We'll, we'll be prepping for should we advance if – one of those two teams we would happen to play, but our team won't watch that match. We'll just focus on Weber State. The staff will get ready and scout us a quick turnaround for tomorrow should you advance. We know that. We've been here. We've done that. We have a, a blueprint for that, so we've asked our team to, to trust us, and they'll just be getting ready for Weber State at, you know, after the first match. Whenever they say game on, we'll, we'll be ready to play, and then we'll go from there. How has this team emotionally kind of rebounded um, losing the last home match senior night to Kansas yet – hey, you host and you're back home, you have an opportunity to end on a really high note at home. Yeah. A special group of seniors. Too. Absolutely. I want to just mention, you know, both Whitney's, my, my, Aria, the senior leadership that we have, the ability to focus, the ability to go on the road, you know, during Thanksgiving week, play two tough road games. Two out of our three last matches were tournament teams, and they've just done a great job leading our team, getting us focused, staying in the present. If you add up all their years, I think I added it up of playing collegiate volleyball. It was like 21 or 22 years of playing collegiate volleyball. That's special. With COVID, you may never have a group like that. Ever you again, know you know, and then you add Aaron Livingston on top of that with being a fifth year. It's just, it's a special group of senior leadership, and they understand how special it is to host and be at home. They've put in the work. They've grinded through the Big 12. Um, you know, we've learned a lot. Uh, home wins, home losses, home away wins, away losses, and we've just tried to stay steady through it all and just know that we want to be our best at the end of the year, and that's this weekend because it's winner go home. I'm guessing my mind wants uh, Arizona State as a former Arizona Wildcat, but we'll see. Get there, and then we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Heather, as you look back on year one of the Big 12 and you assess what your team went through, it's a grind for sure, and taking nothing away from the West Coast Conference because I know you faced some quality programs in the WCC for a lot of years. It's a good conference, but the Big 12 is another level. So how does going through the Big 12 campaign prepare you for the NCAA tournament in a way that maybe the WCC couldn't? Yeah, I just I mentioned playing two out of the three last matches, tournament teams that are in the tournament. That's going to help you have confidence. We, we played great last week at, at West Virginia and TCU, and that really gave us confidence to go on the road and play well and stick to our, our team, staying in the present and focusing. So I, I think 
it's exciting. I think we're looking a little bit more long term over time. What what are we going to learn from being in the Big 12? It's to be determined, right? Let's see what happens this weekend. We've learned a lot of lessons about this group and our team, but I think long term, playing in the Big 12 and playing these teams uh, year in and year out, we're going to see uh, some benefits from that as as we just look forward to the future and and this year particularly trying to be the very best we can in this year's NCAA Bay tournament with a lot of exciting teams. And playing a tough schedule, seven of the 14 went to the tourney. It's like every it's other great. game in the league, you're playing a tourney team. And then in the first round, you're 8-0 as head coach. What is it about the preparation that you and your staff have done to be perfect in this round? I think just the excitement and being able to, to have your team ready to go for that first round. We've played at home a lot, so that's been beneficial. Um, but I think just Dave and Johnny and myself do a good job getting our team focused on this is what our strengths are. This is what we've done, done really well this year. Let's maximize those. Let's focus on us. We've, we've tried to not focus on opponents all year and just maybe take tidbits of, hey, this is, this is who we've got to defend and how and why. But if we play to our strengths, we're going to be really yeah. good over time. And we want to be good over time. That's our goal always, be good over time and see how good this group can be this year. You're going to have some new viewers tonight. It is what it is. Like, there are, there are the volleyball junkies that are with you and the BYU sports junkies, but, like, you're going to have some eyeballs that are like, oh, it's an NCAA tournament match I'm, I'm going to watch. So if they haven't seen BYU play, you're just talking about the strengths. How would you explain what your team is doing best right now and a scouting report on your team in 15 seconds? Yeah, last week, especially offensively, I think Winnie Bauer setting the offense, the distribution. She's getting the right people the ball at the right time, and she's just got a knack for that. And so we've got this senior leader setter who's doing a great job. I think serving, we're getting teams in trouble with our serve and, and, and then our blocks able to control at the net. So I think overall our, our block defense and our serving and our ability just to hang with teams is good, and we were really good offensively last week. Yeah, when the offense is clicking, it's awesome because your blocking and serving is, yep. is kind of the bread and butter. So yep. it'll be fun to watch tonight. We appreciate you coming in. And, uh, again, 9 Eastern time against Weber, Weber State. Best of luck. All the karma. All the karma. You. I'll take it. All the karma. Tonight take and it. tomorrow. And I want to shout out Jen Rockwood. Good luck, College Cup. Yes. Uh, soccer. Absolutely. They're firing us up. They're getting us pumped up and yep. all, all sports at BYU. So good and, luck to Jen. And you guys were watching we the were, game last we, Friday. It motivated us for Saturday's match. We yeah. were just so excited. So good luck to soccer. We're big fans. Yeah. Let's 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 not go down 3-0 though. Let's just start stronger. <laughs> whatever it takes. Whatever, whatever it takes. Yeah, let's go.